This is a 20 minute yang practice for whenever you're short on time. So starting at the top of the mat, bring the inner edges of your feet together, especially the mound of your big toe and have your heels slightly apart. Bring your palms together to touch at the center of your heart, bow your chin down, close your eyes and take a moment to make a commitment to energize the body by sealing in your breath. Stepping into your flow today, blink the eyes open on the inhale, circle the arms to the sky, deep breath as you rise. Exhale, forward fold as you dive over your thighs. Inhale, glance out halfway. As you exhale, plant the hands to the mat, step the feet back to upper push-up and pause. Holding upper push-up, feel the forearms gathering in and sense that it's almost like an abdominal crunch. It's like the two frontal hip points come toward the face, but then the center of the chest continues to lengthen forward and out. You might choose to keep the knees elevated off the mat or possibly place the knees down for three yogi style push-ups. Take a goodbye inhale plank pose. As you exhale, hover chaturanga lower slow. Press back to plank on the inhale, two to go. Exhale, hover chaturanga. Inhale, press the floor away. Exhale, hover chaturanga. Inhale, press back to plank. Down dogs your exhale, firm the thighs, press everything back. On the inhale, lift the right leg to the sky, driving the right heel back. As you exhale, knee to the nose, bring it into the center, roll the shoulders over the wrists. Feel the thighs suck up to the chest, feel the belly button suck up toward the spine. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back, two more like that. Exhale, knee to the nose, bring it in, roll the shoulders forward like upper push-up. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back. Last time, exhale, knee to the nose, keep the left thigh strong. Inhale, right leg up and back. As you exhale, step the right foot forward to the top of the mat. On the back toes, pull the heart forward and continue to draw the right hip into the center line of your mat. Run your arms down by your ribs like wings as you roll your shoulders onto your back. Keep what you have and go ahead and give your back left knee a tiny micro bend. Keeping the slight bend in your back left knee, inhale the arms to the sky, crescent pose, stacking your shoulders over your hips. Feel the tailbone lengthening to the mat. Feel the low belly like that abdominal crunch gently lifting up and in. If you can keep that space in the low back, start to press your left leg towards straight. Beautiful. With the fingertips lifting up, the right knee over the right ankle, and the left heel pressing back, take an inhale here. As you exhale, bring the hands into little fists by the hips and drop the back left knee down to tap the mat. Inhale, back up crescent pose, three more like that. Exhale, fist to hips, back knee drops. Inhale, rise back up, last two. Exhale, fist to hips. Inhale, circle back up, last time. Exhale, fist to hips. Inhale, circle back up, pause at the top. As you exhale, vinyasa, both hands to the mat, step back and lower slope. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes and press everything back. On the inhale, lift the left leg, the height of the left hip. As you exhale, knee to the nose, bring it in. Feel even the left heel lift to the left sit bone. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to the nose, bring it in, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to the nose as you roll forward. Inhale, left leg up and back. As you exhale, step the left foot forward lightly, stay on your back toes and pull the chest out. A gentle sweep of the arms down by the sides, keeping the shoulders onto the back. Notice there's a little space between you and the top of your thigh. Then give the back right knee just a gentle micro bend toward the mat. And on the inhale, circle the arms up, press and pose, stacking the shoulders over the hips. Feel that you're elongating up out of your back ribs. So your back body rises with the same energy that your front body lifts. Take a deep inhale at the top. Same thing as you exhale, light fist to hips, drop the right knee to the mat. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky, three to go. Exhale, knee drops, hips down. Inhale, reach it all back up. Exhale, fist to hips. Inhale, rise high last time. Exhale, fist to hips, knee drops. Inhale, rise, crescent pose, deep breath, pause at the top. Vinyasa is your exhale. Hands come down, step back and release. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, press everything back. As you come into down dog, take a deep inhale, stretch everything back. Gaze forward, bend your knees, step or lightly float to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the heart out. Exhale, forward fold and mount. 
On the inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips right into chair pose, send the arms to the sky. Beautiful. Shifting the weight into the heels. There's maybe even a little lightness in the toes as you sit back. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, lay the chest on the thighs, catch and interlace the hands behind the back. Straighten the legs and drop the hands up and over the head as you separate the collarbones across the front of the chest. On the inhale, re-bend the knees back up. Chair pose as you send the arms up high. Exhale to dive in forward fold and half straight legs. Inhale, glance up. Exhale, hands down. Step or lightly shoot the toes to the back of the mat. Inhale, cobra or upward facing to lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes. Press everything back. On the inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. As you exhale, step the right foot forward. Pivot the back foot flat. First warriors, your inhale, circle the arms up, lift the chest. Take a big inhale at the top, open up second warrior, spread your arms out with the shoulders softening down the back. Spin your right palm to the sky, inhale, reverse it, sweep your right arm up and overhead, get space across your right waist. As you exhale, right forearm to your right thigh, left arm straight up to the sky. If you feel like you have more space, drop your right hand down to the inside edge of your foot or even onto a block for support. Take a big inhale at the top, left arm out and over your head as you exhale, drawing length from the outer edge of your left foot all the way through your left fingertips, pivoting your heart, your chest open toward the sky. On the inhale, left arm straight up to the ceiling, pause. Spin your left palm to face behind you, drop your left hand behind your back, and roll your left shoulder away from your left ear. You might decide to stay in the half bind today, that would be great. If you have the full bind, you have the space, take the right hand underneath you, hook the left fingertips, or possibly even the left wrist. Then once you have that, lean the sternum back, reach the heart forward toward the top of the mat, and continue to cultivate length through your right side waist. Just energizing the body by breathing in deep. Keep the right thigh where it is. Keep the chest open. Take one more big inhale at the top. Plant your right hand down to the mat as you exhale. Reach your left arm to the sky. Big reverse warrior. Inhale for momentum. Sweep it overhead. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Step the right toes back. Lower slow. Let it go. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes, press everything back. Pause and downward facing dog. On the inhale, lift your right leg up once again. As you exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow, twist and cross it over the body. Shoot your right foot out onto the floor and then send your left arm to the sky. Open up the chest, let everything open up wide, pressing the floor firmly away out of your strong right shoulder as you reach the fingertips high. Take a big inhale at the top. As you exhale, plant your left hand down and pause. Pull your right knee up and into your chest. As your right knee comes to your chest, begin to spin to the blade of your left foot. As you reach your right arm to the sky, Vashistasana, you could hook a toe, you could come into tree pose, or you could stack the feet into side plank. Your choice, reach the right arm up, take a big inhale. If you're not holding a toe, send it up and over the head, reach it out and extend through the sides of your waist. Beautiful, inhale, right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Take a good bye, inhale, plank pose. Exhale to lower slow. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, down dog, tuck the toes and press everything back. Take a big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth. <sighs> On the inhale, lift the left leg up and back. As you exhale, step the left foot forward to the top of the mat. Spin the back foot flat. First warriors, your inhale, rise high, chest, shoulders squaring ahead. Open up, second warrior, spread your arms out wide. And have your gaze just 
focused at one point out ahead of your middle finger, your gaze focused like your breath is focused. On the inhale, sweep the left arm up and overhead, pull the left fingertips back, draw space across your left waist. As you exhale, left forearm to your left thigh, right arm straight up toward the sky. Investigate how this side feels and if it makes sense, drop your left hand to the inside edge of your foot or possibly onto a block for support. Big inhale as you reach the right arm up. Use the exhale to send it out and over your head as you reach it out. Pinky fingers spinning down, thumb spinning up. Start to traction the right ribs back as you continue to wrap the left hip underneath and in. Keep what you have in the base of the body. Send the right arm straight up to the sky. Spin your right palm to face behind you and drop your right hand behind your back. You might choose to stay in a half bind. If it makes sense for you to reach underneath and hook the fingertips or the wrist, then by all means take the full bind but practice in a way that keeps your breath smooth and steady. If you notice that you can't breathe, if you notice that you start to clench up or you get tense, then give yourself permission to back off. Take one more big inhale here. As you exhale, left hand down, right arm to the sky, reverse it on an inhale, sweep the left arm up and overhead, pull it back, exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat, step the left toes black and lower slow to release. Inhale, scoop the heart, lift the chest, exhale, tuck the toes, press everything back. Left leg lifts, inhale the height of the hip, exhale twist and cross it over to the right. Shoot the foot out onto the floor for support, spin your back foot flat and send your right arm to the sky. Spread your collarbones wide, get open across your chest, take a big inhale at the top, exhale your right hand comes down, suck your left knee in towards your chest. Hold it there, start to spin to the blade of your right foot, send your left arm to the sky, and then any variation of side plank pose that works for you today. Hooking a toe, stacking the feet into tree pose. If you're not holding a toe, reach your left arm out and over your head. One long line like upper push up. On the inhale, left arm to the sky, lift it up. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Take a goodbye inhale here. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, tuck your toes and press back. Pausing in down dog, give yourself a moment, give yourself a breath. Take a big inhale to stretch back. Gaze forward, bend your knees, step or lightly float to the top of the mat. Inhale, glance out. Exhale, fold and melt. Heel toe your feet away from each other. Point the toes out, drop the hips down. Malasana as you sit deep. So just into a yogi style squat, the hands come to the heart, and as the elbows come into the knees, the knees hug into the elbows. So our tendency is really to roll the ankle in. We want to roll the outer edge of the foot down toward the mat. So the foot feels really even as it presses down into the floor. Then lifting the center of your chest up, Take a big inhale here. Place your right hand down to the inside edge of your right foot. Send your left arm to the sky, open out wide. And then you might stay right here. This could be plenty for you today. If you have the bind, if it makes sense, you wanna wrap the left hand behind the back. You wanna reach the right hand forward in front of the right calf, in front of the right shin. You can absolutely do that. And this is a great pose. We're gonna be here for four or five breaths. Let the seat of the body open after we've energized and uplifted. If you feel like you want to take it into a variation of Bird of Paradise, you'll heel toe your left foot into the center. You'll shift your weight into your left foot. And as you hug your right knee into your right shoulder, you might rise all the way up to stand with your right knee hugging up and in. And then you just kind of check it out and you see what's there. Otherwise, you hold the bind, you hold the breath, and you just give yourself space to explore as everything opens up. Nowhere to get to, nothing to rush into. And especially if you're holding the pose, just being with the breath. As you're ready, start to send the right toes back down toward the mat. Pause for a moment. Releasing the bind, hands come back to the heart through the center line. Take a big inhale here. Left hand comes down, right arm sweeps up. Open the arms wide. Either stay here, send the right hand behind the back, reach the left hand in front of the left shin and hook and interlace the fingers or the wrists. Give yourself a moment to recommit to the feet. And then as you feel ready and as you have the space, either decide to stay right here 
or start to shift the right foot a little more toward the center line. And as you stand strong in your right foot, your left knee hugs into your left shoulder and maybe you rise up to stand. And let it be a dance. Let it be a dance of balance. Let it be a dance of breath. Let it be a dance of steadiness as you maybe hold the pose and open up the hips. Take one more big inhale. Start to re-bend the right knee. Plant the left foot back down toward the floor. As you release the bind, bring the hands to the heart one time down the center line. Big inhale here. As you exhale, plant your hands to the mat. Bakasana, walk your knees up your arms. As your toes float up and off the mat, this is your last vinyasa. Gaze ahead. Maybe both toes lift. And then step or shoot the toes to the back of the mat. The elbows bend. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Lift the heart, the chest. Exhale, down dog, tuck the toes. Press everything back. Take a big inhale, down dog. As you exhale, lower the knees to the mat. Crawl the knees forward, cross the ankles behind you, roll onto your sit bones and send your legs out. Flex your toes to your face. On the inhale, send your arms to the sky. As you exhale, dive in forward fold over your thighs. Couple of breaths in a deep forward fold. Let your heart draw out. And then as if you could, just envision your breath into your back. As if your entire back body could receive your breath. Breathing into your low back, your kidney band, the space behind your heart. On your next inhale, rolling all the way up. And as you exhale, roll all the way back. Hug and squeeze your knees into your chest. As you hug and squeeze your knees into your chest, keep your knees where they are. Spread your arms out wide. Drop your knees to the right. And your gaze might stay up toward the sky. It might drop to the left. On the inhale, come back through the center. And as you exhale, drop the knees to the left, shift the hips and the gaze to the right. Easy twist. On the inhale, coming back through the center. Hug the knees in, wrap the forearms around the knees, bring the forehead up to meet the knees. Take one last big inhale, hug and squeeze everything in. As you exhale, release the arms, release the legs, spin the palms to the sky. And today as you rest, float your left hand to your heart, float your right hand to your belly, and just give yourself gratitude and thanks for creating energy, for making time to be in practice, and for getting into your flow today. If you have time at home, please stay in Shavasana and rest. Otherwise, that's all for our Yang practice today. Hope you built some energy. Hope you found some strength. Namaste.